Hi there, I'm sure that many people have a question how to forward ports on their routers or make several internal HTTP or HTTPS services working on one external IP address. The question is mostly actual for home and small businesses, and the task can be solved with configuring a reverse proxy. There are many of products, from very expensive, as they said, enterprise class, to very simple, which were made on the NEs, for example, raw Nginx or something like that without any control panel. Today, I want to show you very interesting product which I have been using for several years in my home lab, and for which I have no any questions at all. That's Nginx Proxy Manager. This is something like an add-on for Nginx or a control panel with very pleasant and intuitive web interface. It is coming as a Docker container, so installation doesn't require any special knowledge or editing any configs, and takes for about only five minutes. So let's start to install that system. As usual, you can visit my blog if you don't want to retype all of the comments from my screen. The link is in the description. I have a fresh installed Ubuntu Server 22.04. First of all, update your system. Then we must install Docker. and Docker Compose. You should look for your actual version on GitHub. Finally, let's install Nginx Proxy Manager. We have to create a file Docker Compose YML. Because this is YML, indentation matters here. Keep it in mind. And run Docker Compose. Wait for the end of command execution and in browser, go to the address of your server on port 81. Default username and password are admins at example com and change me. After the first login, the system will ask you to change account settings and password. That's all, the system is ready for use. Before adding any rules, let's look to the interface. On the dashboard tab, information about your rules is shown. By clicking on a tile, you will go to the control interface. The main one is proxy hosts. This is actually a reverse proxy. In the redirection hosts, you can add domain redirection rules. Streams are needed if you plan to host, for example, a game server. In 404 hosts, Tab. Custom error pages can be set. In the access list tab, different access rules can be added. You can create rules with Nginx auth requirements or rules for different IP addresses or network, or both of them. In the SSL certificates tab, certificates can be managed. In the users tab, some additional users for system control can be added. In the settings, default site can be set. If request will come to the site which hadn't been added to proxy host or somewhere else, it can be the control site of Nginx Proxy Manager, 404 page, redirect to specified address, or a custom page. I have edited some DNS records and created 18 and 443 ports forwarding rules on my router to reverse proxy IP already. Let's look what will happen if we add default redirect action in the setting. As far as you can see, redirect works well. Now let's add two proxy hosts. Everything works perfectly. Both sites are opening and redirect to HTTPS works well. There are no any errors about SSL certificate. Also, I want to show you how access lists are working. Let's create two access rules. A load from all networks but with required authorization. And a load from only local network. There are no any errors too, everything works as planned. 
As I said, I have been using this system for several years and it works great. I hadn't had any problems with it. Due to simplicity of the interface, there is no need to bother either re-issuing certificates or editing Nginx configs. I think this is almost perfect reverse proxying system for home or small business. Great respect and thanks to developers. And that's all for today. Have a nice day and good luck. Goodbye.